Image harmonization aims to iron out visual inconsistency created when compositing a foreground subject onto a background image that was captured under different conditions. However, existing approaches train harmonization from synthetic composites where the foreground and background are actually from a single image. They simply apply global adjustments to foregrounds and train network to bring it back. Therefore, there exist domain gaps between training and testing, and those models can only perform global harmonizations. In this work, we bridge the domain gaps through training on real composites. Our model can perform high-resolution harmonization with parametric controls, where the first approach enables local harmonization through our novel shading map. Our model outperforms other sort of approaches both quantitatively and qualitatively. Now, let's get back to why not training on synthetic composites. First of all, the foreground and background of synthetic composites have the same lighting environment, smooth boundary, consistent shading. However, those properties are not true for real composites during testing time. And natural adjustments can also degrade harmonization performance. Meanwhile, those global adjustments limit the network or the model to only model global harmonization. Therefore, in our work, we propose to learn image harmonization from real composites. In this work, we propose a dual stream training strategy. During our training process, we sampled equally between two training streams. The first one is a supervised training stream on artist retouch dataset. The second one is an unsupervised training stream on real composites. Our first supervised training stream is essentially very similar to previous work where we have the ground truth for supervision. However, different from using a natural and global adjustments, we incorporate adjustments from artists, which are more natural and include both global and local editing. Comparing to previous work, which are unnatural and global adjustments, our model takes artist adjustments. Meanwhile, the global and local edits enable us modeling more complicated effect. Our second unsupervised training stream is our key contribution that enable training on real composites. We generate the real composite using the following pipeline as the input of the network. Given a natural image, here is a car. We first impend to get the background. Then we paste the foreground from another image, here is a dog, to create the real composite. Then we pass the rubber model to get the output. Note that we don't have the ground truth anymore, therefore we are no longer able to impose reconstruction loss. However, we can still impose adversarial loss where the output considered fake and the real image considered true. Comparing to previous work that trained solely on synthetic composites, our model trained on both synthetic and real composites and bridge the domain gaps and enable local harmonizations. However, one of the big challenge for solely adversarial loss is that it can create it an intended content and is not stable during the training. So the question becomes, is only adversarial loss enough? To regularize adversarial training, we propose a novel parametric model where we can only change the color and the shading of the input composite without introducing an intended and random content. Given an input composite image, we first predict the color curve and apply them to get the intermediate color harmonized results. Then we take the inputs and the intermediate results to predict a shading map for local tunnel harmonization. By applying the shading map, we get our final results. Both our color curves and shading maps cannot modify the image content, therefore regularize the adversarial training. Two benefits that come naturally with our model is that our color curves and shading map can scale up to any resolution, meaning that our model can perform high-resolution image harmonization. Meanwhile, our model provides users with full parametric controls where they can incorporate their personal creativities. Here show some visualization results on modeling local tonal changes. As we can see, previous work can only perform color and global harmonization, which degrades the image quality. In contrast, 
our work successfully model local tonal harmonization and produce more faithful results. For example, on the top row, our model adds shading to the face according to the sun direction, and in the bottom row, our model selectively darkening the part of the dog inside the cave. For the datasets with ground truth, our model outperform previous approaches and show better agreements with the ground truth in terms of visual quality. Here shows an example of visualization of parametric controls. Given an input composite where a sculptor is standing inside the gallery room, our color curves first harmonize the color, then our shading map further harmonize the image according to the lighting environment to get our final results. Furthermore, our approach quantitatively outperforms other SOTA approaches on various benchmarks in terms of different quantitative metrics. Meanwhile, our BT score suggested that our approach is more preferred compared to other approaches in our user studies. Finally, I want to show a demo to show how parametric controls can enable creativity. First of all, we select a background and then we select a foreground. Now we select the model from the browser and click Harmonize the Image. Now we get the initial harmonized image. However, maybe we are not satisfied with the green color. We can make some fine tuning on the green curves. Meanwhile, we can also make some tuning on the blue curves to make it more blue. Also, we can make modification to the shading map to incorporate personal creativities. Now let's move our foreground object. Our model can be run interactively on CPUs without any legacy, which is revealing the potential for real-world applications. In conclusion, in this work, we propose semi-supervised parametric real-world image harmonization which can effectively bridge the domain gap between training and testing through training on real composites, where the first approach enables local harmonization through shading map. Our model can perform high-resolution image harmonization with parametric controls through color curves and shading that gives user more creativity. Finally, our method outperforms other SOTA approaches both quantitatively and qualitatively. If you have any question, Feel free to email me. Thanks for your attention.